I was at a Costco and I saw this guy. It's a poke bowl. It's a Hawaiian style kit that includes smoked salmon, rice, poke sauce, and spicy seasoning. I had poke before. I like poke. I'm not big on salmon. I do like salmon, but if I have a choice, I always go tuna. But I mean, in this case, I'm definitely willing to give it a try. It was not terribly expensive uh, at Costco. And it has instructions because it comes in pieces. So first instruction, remove ingredients from bowl. So here's the actual bowl. It's a nice size bowl, not too, uh, not too small. So in this, I believe, yeah, oh, you gotta heat the rice. So rice, here's our salmon. Nice chunk of salmon too. Some sauce, some soy sauce, I'm assuming, and some spices to mix it all in. So we have the ingredients from the bowl. Tear off rice, a one inch cut on the rice, and put it in the microwave for 45 to 60 seconds. Dispense rice in the bowl, the rice will be hot. <laughs> Fluff rice with a fork. Separate smoked salmon cubes, add rice along with poke sauce, top with seasonings, and enjoy. So. Let me go ahead and put this in the micro and I'll be right back. What you can't see is I walked into the kitchen. I made my slit on the, on the rice and I'm gonna put it in for 50 seconds. Hot rice, you can see the, uh, the steam coming off of it. Smells nice, smells good, smells like good rice. That's fun. So we have our bowl of rice. Um, the rice is of course sticky because normally you would eat this with chopsticks. So you always want, when you're eating rice, the trick to eating rice is with chopsticks is have sticky rice. I don't, I was told that a long time ago and I don't feel I hear that enough lately when I see a lot of people on YouTube eating rice with chopsticks which is the way the majority of the world does it. If you really look at, um, if you look at populations and things like that. So nice fluffy rice. It does smell good. And it's in this nice uh, cardboard container. So it's biodegradable. So it is, it is quite nice. The whole setup. I wish this came in different uh, types of flavors too. Not to knock the salmon. I hadn't tried the salmon. The salmon is probably delicious because salmon is, the salmon is delicious, right? So, not here. Salmon. I'm gonna put this in the bowl. Probably should have set up another camera so you could see that, but I don't care. This is just me trying out something. So there, the salmon, the salmon is cubed up, like they're in little chunks like this. It's a smoked salmon, so it smells delicious. Ooh, if I do eat salmon, I will eat it uh, sashimi style. I do have sushi, different types of sushi. <clears throat> I don't think I've ever had a smoked, I haven't, I've had smoked salmon, but I don't think I've had it in this way. I haven't had smoked salmon in years. There's a place that used to make this delicious smoked salmon. They would smoke it for a, like a day or two. It was just fabulous. So some rice fell on my shirt. No rice gets left behind with me. It is nice rice for what it is. It's basically instant rice. I mean, you always want to make your own rice. I never make my own rice. I always use instant rice, and I think it tastes... It tastes fine. When you have, like, somebody who made the rice, like, real rice, and you're like, yeah. <laughs> instant rice is good enough. So this is our bowl. This is our bowl with the salmon in it. Boy, that salmon smells good. It smoked salmon. So I'm going to add my mixture of fluid here, which I believe is some sort of a soy sauce. I, if I read the package, it probably would tell me.
Oh, and it also has try serving tips. Tip with ripe avocado, which ripe avocado is always delicious. So you could put, I just eat avocado just like that. Splice it up with some jalapeno and a spritz of lime. That's nice with the fish, the lime. Mix in edamame, sliced cucumber, your favorite veggie. Because that's what they do there at the poke place that I go to. They put in different vegetables too. And last time I, I went, I got a little bit of a seaweed salad on top. That was very delicious. Garnish with pickled onion or sliced scallions. Uh, sweeten up with diced mangoes or peaches too. So you could also, this is savory already because of the smoked salmon. But you could also make it sweet with something like uh, peach or uh, mango. Mango would probably be really good. I love mangoes. I'll eat anything. <laughs> if you've ever watched any of my videos, I'll eat anything. I'll try it at least. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna shy away from a food. I've done that before, and then you always get that, boy, I should have tried it feeling, and I just, why, why bother with, why bother with, sitting around thinking, well, I should have, when you just do it and be done with it, and you have the experience. That's 99% of my YouTube videos. Sesame sauce. It's not soy sauce, it's sesame sauce. So it's really sweet and smells fabulous. The last thing here, we have our little packets of, uh, packet of uh, spices. I have my spices, I have my sesame sauce, mixed all in with my salmon and rice. It smells pretty great. It smells pretty, pretty great. Wow. Also, I'm incredibly hungry. I only had a bowl of cereal about four hours ago. and This is my poke bowl, the smoked salmon poke bowl from Costco. I want to say it was like 14 bucks, like seven bucks a pop for these, which is cheaper than going to the, going to the poke place and getting it. The poke bowl will set you back at least 10 bucks, bare minimum 10 bucks, usually around 14. It's a little bit bigger, not much, and you get more variety. Here, just salmon, but let's give it a try. That salmon is fabulous. That's some of the best salmon I've had in a while. I haven't had smoked salmon in a while. Boy, it's beef jerky, a little more, a little more briny instead of just plain salt. It has more of the salt water flavor to it, or not salt water, water. But I'm, I'm assuming these uh, salmon were in salt water at some point. I think most salmon go to salt water. Either way. That flavor, that smoky flavor with this, that's, it's, I think, I think the thing I would do, cucumber, maybe some shredded carrots, if you can get a little bit of seaweed with this, seaweed with this, I think that would be really great. Um, Something, I'd go spicier. I'd put maybe a little bit of sriracha, jalapenos. S dice up some jalapenos and put it in this. That would be incredible. This is really great. It's turned into a mukbang now, I guess. But I saw this. I've been eating poke. I love, I love stuff like this. I think, I think I'll definitely go and get more of these. And have like for a lunchtime snack or for lunchtime meal, I should say. It is when I'm recording this, it's lunch. This is incredible for what it is, it's, it's really incredible. Really good instant rice, the salmon. Salmon's pretty dialed in. The salmon, I, I have no complaints about the salmon other than I would want about double, <laughs> double the amount. But that's just, 
you know. Anyway. <laughs> this is a dice poke bowl. Not a dice poke bowl. That's the name of the place I go to. This is a poke bowl with salmon I got from Costco. Like I said before, if you see this on the shelf and you're kind of you're kind of on the fence, I'd get it. Not too expensive and you get two of them in this. So there's another one in the fridge I'll probably eat tomorrow. This really great definitely worth your money thanks for watching cheers